Scripps Health says it is working to restore online services after a cyber attack over the weekend. As of today, the health system's website was still down in an effort to protect patient information. So joining us now with some insight into all of this, what Scripps is dealing with, is cybersecurity expert Tyler Hudak. Uh, Tyler, thanks for joining us. You are the incident response practice lead at TrustedSec, which is a white hat hacking firm. First, tell us what that all means. Sure. Uh, basically, what white hacking is, is basically the good guys doing the techniques that the bad guys are doing against organizations just to make sure that uh, the organizations are protected from, from those attacks. So you can kind of uh, get in there and exploit what the problems they have and then help them fix it, that sort of thing, right? So uh, exactly. some, some experts believe that this incident involving Scripps Health is a ransomware attack. Uh, tell us what that means and how you know, a group, a medical group of the size of Scripps, for example, might decide how to proceed. I mean, they, they almost feel like, I'm sure, in many ways, they have to give in. Uh, I don't know how they proceed. What's the best way that they do it? Sure. So a ransomware attack is a type of uh, malware or a computer virus that will get into a system and encrypt data, encrypt the uh, computers, so that the only way that the organization can recover that data is by paying the ransom or recovering it from backup. Uh, for a organization the size of Scripps, uh, if they really did get hit with a ransomware attack, which everything is pointing to that, that likely means that uh, a lot of their infrastructure, a lot of their systems that contain data have been encrypted. And so they're going to need to figure out how to get that data back, uh, whether to recover it uh, from backups, if they have the backups still available, because the ransomware attackers will often delete those backups, uh, or they'll have to go and pay the ransom uh, in order to get that data back. Uh, let's talk about it from the uh, the user perspective. People like you and I who are out there are like, oh, you know, I go to that medical group. What kind of information is usually targeted in ransomware attacks? And should people out there be worried? So ransomware attackers are very smart. You know, one of the things that they know is that if a company can recover their data from backups, then they aren't going to need to pay the ransom. And so what a lot of ransomware attackers do is before they encrypt all the data, they steal it. They figure out where all the sensitive data is and they take it and then they hold that for extortion, uh, basically telling the company, the, the victim uh, that was affected that you either pay me the ransom, uh, even if you can recover your data, or I'm going to release that information that I stole from you. You can imagine in a healthcare organization, what type of information might be in there that an attacker would want to get at and, and steal? Do you think people out there might be kind of numb to this sort of thing? I mean, there's so many stores, so many uh, medical groups, for example, that have, that have had these kinds of hacks that people must just feel like my information's out there. There's nothing I can really do about it. Yeah, we're, I, I think as a, as a society, we're definitely becoming desensitized to this, where, you know, we're seeing this happen every day. Uh, you know, there's a, another organization that's been compromised in the news. Um, and unfortunately, you know, I, I think that is starting to become the case. But, uh, you know, today there was a congressional hearing on ransomware. So there's definitely being some movement into starting to prevent this and assist, you know, at least you know, prevent these types of attacks where our data is being taken. Has it not been taken seriously enough to this point? I mean, who are these people who are out there who are just extorting these organizations for money and, and, and putting everybody's information in jeopardy? Yeah, the attribution in security is very difficult, but there are definitely a number of uh, groups out there uh, that are performing these attacks uh, from from all over the world. Uh, and you know, a lot of these uh, attackers have uh, created affiliate groups so that others can come to them and you know help them kind of grow their cartels and enterprise for for a. Uh, uh, for lack of a better term. Well, let's hope they can somehow get to the bottom of it and uh, for Scripps to be able to get everything uh, straightened out for all the folks out there. Tyler Hudak, we appreciate uh, your insight, our cybersecurity expert. Thank you very much.